bitches right here. He meant to have put that boot on that ugly boot. And my mom wear my church shoes. Take your medicine, Jamie. But I got I ain't gotta tell you which one. We take all of it. But I'll tell you until I rap. Now I gotta buy the body and then I cut it out. No, between the two, you take it all. Because the doctors are gonna be baffled. You don't have to make a test. If God says he's gonna make you a testimony, if you are already walking testimony, and God shows forth his glory in you, and God says he's gonna baffle the doctors, there ain't nothing I gotta do. But just be me and take the the medicine. So whenever I I'm gonna tell her. So you now, since you had 30 years and you ain't do nothing, I'm giving you three weeks. And now I get your stuff together, get up and do something about it. You got, you on, you on top of it right now. Show me. Show me the money. I want the two that. You my doctor right now. Thank you so much. You're still my agent. Show me the Show me the money. That, but that's me. Before he got off the phone with Jeff B, he told Jeff B, you better show me the money. But before he got off the phone with Jeff B, he said, thank you so much. You're still my agent. He made, and he made Jerry fight for the position that he already had. <laughs> doctor, Kirk is already my doctor. I said, you got three weeks. And if you don't start, I, I, I already got a punishment for you. And I was just waiting to inflict the, uh, the, 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 the consequence. I, was, I don't think Kirk is going to be able to do nothing. Kirk actually did something. He's actually working towards doing something. I gotta go get the blood test for it tomorrow. He's working towards doing something. I was like, wow. I mean, I know Kirk's an excellent doctor, but I didn't think he was gonna actually be able to move. And I put him at a deficit. I said, I'm, I'm dropping down as we go. And I said, if you don't do what I want you to do, you will lose in more ways than one. Why do you need to still take it, your medicine if God says it's going to deliver you? I got to go through it, right? Because some people think uh, I'm a bipolar or I'm schizophrenic or I got borderline personality disorder or I got anxieties or I got uh, multiple personalities. But I feel better now that I've taken this medicine for three days. I feel better, so I'm going to stop taking it. So I can stop taking it. It's done. This ain't no a normal infection medicine. This ain't no normal Monostat 7 that you would take. I don't know what people take Monostat 7 for. The little Monostat with creams that you just put on you. But this does is correct a chemical imbalance. And if you don't take it properly, what will happen is that you will be reversed and re revert the back of who you actually were before you started taking it. But even worse, because of I, what happens is, what happens when you clean your house? See, I did it with thought, and I know how to actually get off medicine. If you clean your house completely, and then you're looking for a coin, you clean your house completely, right? That man that cleans it completely, they have to be careful because an empty house is more attractive than a full one. So that demon that you clean the ho- out of the house will go get seven more. And this time, you, uh, far be it from you to be able to get rid of them. Just because God says he's going to deliver you, he said he's going to deliver you. Ah, nah, nah. Jehovah Jireh said he's going to deliver you. My provider said he's going to deliver you. Jehovah Nisi said he's going to deliver you. He's the banner said he's going to deliver you. Jehovah Shalom said he's going to deliver you. He's my peace said he's going to deliver you. Jehovah Rapine said he's going to deliver you. He's my healer said he's going to deliver you. Said he's going to deliver you. God said he's going to Back to the minds of the doctors. He said, I am a walking testimony. God's going to back the minds of the doctors. What need I to do? What need me? <laughs> what you need from me? What you, what you want from me? What you want from me, Jesus? What, what, what I need to do? You didn't see me put, you hear me put that, right? I, 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 you don't need nothing from me. You keep doing what I'm doing. Because I'm already walking testimony. And I brag on God in everything that I do. So God says he's going to make me a testimony. And he said, keep taking my medicine. And what's my only job? Keep taking the medicine. And then when I take the medicine, what shows what's going to happen is, they already told me that, but she told me what was going to be said when it happens. They're going to be like, okay, she shouldn't be able to do this. Well, how is she able to do this? Oh my Lord, this shouldn't have happened. What happened? God said, going to battle the medical community. Right doctor for it. Uh, Kirk is a baby. He's 29. Kirk's new to this. He's 29. Kirk is my doctor, right? Kirk has 
Cause in hell I'm on the battlefield For my lord Cause he's been on a battlefield Cause been in the back of the In the schoolhouse And I mean schoolhouse rock Remember the cartoon In your neighborhood schoolhouse Schoolhouse rock that, Like that Just like that Right there Just like that He's a baby so there's no benefit of experience that said Kirk went back to 5,000 years ago and picked some special medication up and that's how it happened. So God says he's gonna back for my day, he's gonna back for oh, back, 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 and I'll laugh for my back for the way, and I'll laugh for my back for the back for the back. She said I can't believe your testimony when it happens, because it's gonna be God. He said, she said, he said to her, he was gonna blow he said, I'm going to. He said, right now, he's going to blow your mind. I went to bed saying, going to. <laughs> I woke up, opened my eyes, popped my eyes open and said, going to. Because he said it. He said, Jamie, he said, I already uh, blew your mind. I allowed you to use your gifts. Now, slow down for me for a second. Because I like that in my head. He knows. I keep telling people. I never thought I would ever be in a museum. I used to go as a kid and stare at the museum walls. I would stare at the museum walls, and I mean, I would walk around, I would stare at one painting for hours. And I would mentally put myself into the paint. Mentally. I would throw myself in. If I saw grass, a paint with all grass and, a, and a, a, the dark figure of a little boy, I would mentally throw myself in there. I was in there with him. Jamie was there with him. Jamie saw what he saw. So if Jamie saw what he saw, and he's facing away from the, the front of the canvas, he's facing towards the, uh, the little cottage house on the back of the canvas. What is he thinking, and why is he looking at that cottage house, and why is he staring at it? I've asked my stuff questions about what's going on inside the paintings and come up with my, my own theory. Ah! Who <laughs> do the paint? Ah! Saw it. I put myself inside of it because I knew I would never be able to paint anything like it. It was inside of a museum. It had a grandiose spectrum about how that Janie get in a museum? Are you kidding me? with the cane trying to carry a piece of painting that was already what uh the, what was that four by five feet i was carrying it and i asked them again you crazy are you crazy really i wonder every time i get in then i got a word last year i was wondering then I'm not, uh, they're not talking to me we want that yes we want that i got an email from miss k i said miss k no that's impossible because that's trash I was gonna name it trash. It literally is trash. So I'm second with paper, and the poem is, is scattered in every direction, and the, the, the frame that actually is on it is glued on it, to, and, I, and we, we took it out of fire because we burned it. Because the frame that had it in one frame, it in one frame. So I took it, got the frame, uh, very carefully, so I wouldn't get stabbed with the needles because we don't want tetanus, right? Uh, uh, the, uh, whatever they call it. And then I don't want to have to go to the shop to get the needles, get the hospital, get the, the, the shop, whatever. But, but, but I took it and I snapped the frame in half and I started banging at it. Then I rubbed Comet, cleaned the cleanser on it for about three days, let it sit there. Then I sprayed it over with uh, hardening. Then I put a glaze on it. Frame. That's how I treated it. The trash. The whole thing is trash. The poem's trash. I'm trash. My hair and the thing is trash because I took all these pieces from the inside of my tank canister and popped it on that trash. The pieces that you throw away. Da -da -da. The refuse that you throw away. See, refuse it because you refuse me just like you refuse it. Just like I've been refused by everybody. I was speaking to the other men. I was speaking to everybody, especially the people that I know right now. I've been refused by everybody. My, my poetry is in pieces on the side of me because it's been refused too. I'm a lot. My face is cut up and it's blessed, blessed in stop in spite of it all. Cause I still got blessed the side of my mouth and blessed the side of my mind and I still say breath up with a smile on my face. Even though you call me refuse, refuse, you refuse me. 